And good afternoon, Water 23 here, bringing another world of warships news. This time here, we're bringing you information on the Musquad Cruiser camouflage and also changes are going to be made to the American Cruiser Line. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm going to have to rain down a godly fucking firestorm on you. All right. Well, first thing we're going to bring you is information on the American cruisers that if you read the stats that have been floating around the web and everything else like that you see that for example the tier 6 cleveland was moved up to tier 8 and had zero changes in the ship stats and people are like okay wait a minute is that are they crazy are they nuts well here's what wargaming had to say <clears throat> dear captains let us bring some clarity to the situation for the down and up tier american ship stats as you have noticed there have been hardly any corrections to their relevant stat tiers. But let us assure you that they're going to be getting balanced very soon and the stats will be modified depending on the new tiers. We would like to apologize for causing this confusion and when the actual new numbers become available, we will share them with you. Okay, that's what Wargaming had to say. What I have to say about the situation is they're being complete fucking morons, sorry. They were being complete morons and putting out stats and moving the ships around and yet posting it for everybody to read. So you were doing that to see if you basically can get away with this. If we move this up the tier, up tier the armor just a little bit, we'll let, we'll let this fly. And the community basically rounds out and said, hell to the new. So that's what that situation is all about. Okay, next up, because we're gonna do this in one shot. Next up, we're talking about the reveal of the new camouflage for the Moskwa. <clears throat> the new camouflage that's adding for the Moskwa, Moskwa Cruiser, excuse me, it has the following bonuses. Minus three to surface detection, plus four to maximum dispersion of shells fired by the enemy ship, minus 50% to the cost of the post-grad screen, plus 25% to credit earned, and plus 100% to the crew experience. Now, this is basically a monster, in my opinion, because basically what you've done is when you give it an extra 20% credits, wow. You only usually do that for tier 10 ships. And this is just an excellent example of a tier 10 ship that has great maneuverability, great firing thing, great everything. And then you're giving it an awesome credit bonus on top of that. A plus war gaming. I really like this. And I also like that when you, as you see on the screen right now, so that this is my kind of camo pattern. The red, about futuristic. It makes it look meaning, you know, like if it's coming for you, you're going to die. Well, unfortunately, this is a short week right here. They didn't put out any other thing available for the past two weeks, because I guess they, everything's been hush hush. Um, with all the developments are going on between um, World of Tanks 1.0 coming around. So World of Warships has been basically put on the back burner so the news could be focused on the World of Tanks. So if you have anything to say, anything that you see in the webs anywhere else like that, and you want me to know about it and you want your viewers to know, just let me know. I will gladly leave your name and put it in. But until then, this is Warp 103 saying Warp Out, have fun, and we will catch you on the next one.